Hi there, hope you are doing well. So right now I arrived to Hospital Milano, it's right behind me. It's a huge place and I'm gonna walk so much. I'm gonna take you along with me this journey, just show the entrance. Here we go. This is the exit of Metro Station and basically here's the entrance, the tickets area. For you, the best coffee, yeah. the very original coffee from Latvia. Thank you so much. Yeah, you sit here if you want. No, I'm, I'm in Russia. That's I want to shoot so many stuff. Give me one coffee, please. Thank you. It's the best one. You see the machine. Come, Come see the machine. This is a machine from Napoli, the original yeah. coffee. Yes, I'm going now. You see the. Uh, Hi there. The best one. Italian style. We're straight over with dark rolls. In all honesty, it's much better than I thought it would be. It was brewed on a liver, creamy, syrupy, really enjoyable. So right now we are Pisado stands. They gave me some nice wristbands and uh, pitcher, keychain and tamper. Thank you guys. So Pizarro is very famous for the porta filters and tampers. We already reviewed their tampers. I'm planning on making a video. They offer these wonderful color options of wooden, customizations, funnels. Uh, they have this hybrid porta filter. Basically you either use it as a spout or bottomless. They have all these finishes like the white stainless steel, the white and black, this is the white and bronze, and this is the WDT tool. They have rear levelers, dosing funnels, where's their baskets? We're gonna review this new basket from them, this precision basket. Let's show you. Precisely cut. All their mid pictures also. It's very high quality. The paint really scratches this has a wide spout and this has a sharp spout and they are coming with new pictures customizations like look this one the handle to place your thumb on it i really enjoy this one and they came with this new design for finish it's a mix of epoxy and a mesh of aluminum let me go in details to show you what you see here like it's a mesh of aluminum and epoxy those are the knobs those are the tampers, our Pistar machine. They are printed also with Fisado. They're showing the same booth. They have very nice touch with this lead from the corners. You can see here Pisado is being used. Here the Pisado wooden ones. This is the commercial version from our Pistar coffee machines. They have here fully black metal aluminum. This finish. Make sure to check his Instagram page. Hi Ali. Hi man. Say hi to everyone. <laughs> hi everyone. 
How are I'll, you? I'll leave a link for his Instagram page in I'll the be video. Sorry for that. Yeah, make sure to follow him. <laughs> See, I'm checking everything in it. Yeah, he's checking the extraction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this one, transparent. Ah, uh, the Nota. Yeah. Well, it's quite nice machine. I like the Big. glass here. Yeah, yeah. The idea of the glass. It's optional. You could move it for normal one. Yes. And you could have it like you know, black color, like this color, for example. Yes. You could have it stand up, which is stainless steel. But really, the glass, like being able to see the boiler and everything, it's, it's really yeah, nice. Yeah, give you like some, some kind of unique thing. Yes. If you are looking for attention, yes, yes. This one is the right machine. <laughs> yeah. It is. I have it. It's been like six years. I have the same machine. I think I saw this one of your videos. I, I also have that one. Yeah. Yeah. What yes. I like it. Wonderful. And if you have a small coffee shop, not too much busy. Yes. Yeah. This can one. Easily handle yeah, yeah. It's a bit for you. Uh, and still, yes. Yeah. And the good thing about this machine also, you could control the steam, power, brain fusion, um, a lot of things, a lot of things, yeah. Yep, brilliant. Thank you, Ali. I'll yeah, see you around. Yes, Take see you. care. Take care. Bye. Bye.
So basically it has a nice thing, nice thing here from the control. You can turn on the steam, turn on the blue boiler, or let's say off the steam. It has dual boiler design. And if you turn both of them on, it will keep the group head warm. So that's a really interesting one. I like the look, the angle of it. It's a 58 millimeter port of filter. no bar no nine yeah. bar now we reach the nine bar and now it's up to you yeah. how much Four water bar. per second you yeah. wanna put or not this is mostly impact spray infusion but also it depends on how dark or light is your yeah problem. and how to finish the shot just go so back when zero. you are designed with the recipe I use this as a reference for the time so I okay. know we are around 27 I like to go with kind of 30 you go like this, because you close the connection from the upper to the lower part, you no see coffee is of default, yeah. so you can take it out. Domestic yeah. okay. But then we land it to have an iPad professional. Now it's 22. Oh, okay. So the fan working. Oh, but yeah. I will set to 13. 30. And then the fan stopped on the back. Yeah. Temperature is here. Okay, good. Nice. It has like a fan to cool the coffee shop. Mm. Yeah.
Don't have a needle water. What? Oh, that's from me. WPM with Terry. JD, Say hi, Terry. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to host. Yeah. Welcome to host. So this is their new grinder. What was it called? Uh, set P1. Set P1. I have a box. Yeah. It's down off switch from the corner. You can see it there. It comes with adjustable RPM from the side. Very smooth and nice RPM. It has so many magnetic parts, magnetic dosing cup, magnetic shout. And you know, I've tried before, magnetic shout was not this smooth. This is really smooth. And they have the plasma technology from both these tubes for static retention. This is the grinding dial. It's also really smooth. Super smooth. As of, all you need to do, when I turn off the grinder, all you need to do is just turn it on and you pull it. Probably the easiest and the fastest bird. I think the adjustment adjust the birds from the top or from the yeah. bottom from the bottom bird yeah. and they have this here as you can see it's a copper alloy the shiny golden finish 64 millimeter birds yep, yep. Uh, it has adjustable rpm let's turn this on oh, put it like this it's closed and let's check for the retention he was going to show me the retention yep so this is at zero Yep, no. this is 18.3. It's okay. 18.2, yep. let's say. Yep. Put it in. Turn the ground around. And this is dark host, so it actually really well with the static. The zero splashing beam. Nice. And how to use this? The knocker. Eighteen point two. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. I love it, and it's a really dark roast. Yeah, usually dark roast has more static, like it's more yeah. competitive to have no static with dark roast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No farms. Wonderful strawberry promising. How much the average price tag for it? Nine hundred dollars. It's not cheap, but I would say like yeah, it's a high build quality. Yeah. Nice. Any other colors? I think the uh, yellow. Yeah, yeah, yellow. yeah. Uh, white. Silver, yeah. white. Nice. Analyze the way that to have a, an automated drip coffee machine in your coffee shops basically it's instant heating you don't have to wait as a boiler or anything it's very energy efficient and cost efficient so I have here York with me hey, how are you doing well doing well doing yes, well thank you perfect so just show me let's brew lab bed profile 
and you can speak during that. Alright, we're going to make it brew and that's what we're doing yeah. that. So Perfect. Let's get it run up and running. So, get the brew basket here from Aurea, it's the big boy, it's the new big boy. Okay. We can do batches from single cups still to all the way, 1.2 liters. So, the coffee ready here. We have actually now, when we do a batch pool, we have an 18 hole screen inside to cover okay. actually the water properly. Everywhere. Brilliant. So, so, as you all know, for filter coffee brewing, blooming phase. Yep. That's a wonderful distribution. When you calibrate it, you are 99% accurate. I wouldn't say 100, even yes. though I would like to say, but it's not. Like maybe like the 2 or 3 grams difference. Yeah, but not even. When we calibrate it, it's really all spot on one point. Oh, and it has a pulse pulse rate of water. Yes, you want to see how we do that? How we do that? I can say in my blooming phase, I want to have actually 75 milliliters. Okay. Since we have no boiler, we can do temperature profiling. I want to go in this coffee actually in with 95 degrees. In the beginning. So I see 75 grams in 12.5 seconds. That's a little bit too fast for me, so I'm going to lower my flow rate. Let's just lower it to 3.7, oh, not no. 0.7 seconds and you see now it's 20.3 seconds right. so actually you can customize how many pulses you want to have with the temperatures inside. I see here the pulse you have three pulses yeah. because your best barista today is mine tomorrow yeah so you need that consistency and training and all That's that correct. stuff is very difficult I love the water distribution the machine comes in white and black yeah yeah here we go Fresh brew. Cheers. Fresh brew. Thank you, Jörg. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> it was delicious. It can go slightly finer, but I think someone flated the grind adjustment. I just wanted to show how much the bed is flat. You can see here, it's all well distributed. Wonderful. So actually, everything very simple in the machine. Now we open it up. Boom. I, that's it. So that's actually a black box concept. Everything is happening in the black box. The heating element, the electronics, everything is built in here. It's a power connection. Okay. You remove the power connection, you remove the water connection okay. with the John Guest. And that's and then, just a small piece, you ship it up, get service and you return it. Super simple. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you for the explanation. You're oh my god, it's my first really time. I'm, I'm, I'm in YouTube, I guess. Yeah. My first time ever. <laughs> Yeah, you're on YouTube, yep. <laughs>
silicone mina so you can save yeah. the rest. But the mina needs a little screen that shows me, you know, the really time and maybe the blue rate. So this is the new one from Kino. They have patents so for it. Lab, it's a it salt and paper grinder. No yeah. With the Mina, there is the app. And there is issue with the app, or it's not a good app. It's better than the previous one. It's not a good app. Okay, you okay. You open it from the top, you give it a yeah. slight twist. Yeah. 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 Small twist, you insert like you salt you or paper, so and you slightly it twist it. It's closed. There you go. Perfect. And it's also titanium. No, it's stainless. It's only oh the, finish. It's the finish. Yeah, the it's got a vacuum pump. Oh, okay, it's beautiful. Okay. But I don't know. I have something for this stainless steel uh, satin finish. Like this is iconic finish from you. Yeah, that's a classic. Yeah, the classic grinder that the customers named it classic. Classic, yeah. It's called Auto Production, and Kino later brought it back to life. Yes, it's a wonderful grinder. It's four kilograms. But it's not that much heavy. I like that it's small. It's not huge. It's not take huge space. It is okay if you. If so how to attach you it? You just you push this you spring at the end, okay. and you close it, and it stays maybe. back in place. Like look, I'm As pushing it in place. Push them, uh, the it's wonderful. our dose it took around like 35 40 seconds and this beauty now let's make the espresso shot sort of a turbo shot because okay. the coffee is a really light roast yep. get some delicate aromas that are easily lost so I'm brewing at 96 and a half degrees so a really high temperature okay but also I love high temperatures 96 yeah that's good and finally I am, someone putting the I high aim for like uh, 22-23 seconds on 30 grams, yeah. Uh -huh. She has like 20 seconds. Perfect. Thank you. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> oh. Cheers. Mm. I like it. Nice. It's interesting the turbo shot. No, 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 no problem. It's a springy uh, group pad. I compressed this spring here. Do you like the Neva? RPM and the dose. Yeah. We can set the dose. I, uh, no, it's not and there are presets for, for RPM. You have yep. three. Uh, now we can go down with the RPM or up. So from the scale you can control the RPM yeah. in the orbit. You don't need the uh, application, yes. but there is an application as well, yeah. <laughs> and oh. it's crazy. So you can you can do it without the scale also. So this is the second stage, and this is the slowest. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay. And the knocker is, is really cute behind. Okay, 
now making the, this purge. Okay. And the knocker. It's ready. Yeah, the knocker is very efficient. Hopefully no bugs this time. Ready to go. Okay. Free fusion. Again. 3.6. And after 10 seconds I usually let the spring I do usually a slow ramp up. A nice decline in pressure profile as the spring expands. Do you know yes. the group? Yeah, I know. I, I, I like that, this group a lot. Here you can follow the key parameters. The These time, are the weight. Time, weight, brew ratio, flow rate and the temperature. Yeah. And if you lift uh, the cup, uh, yeah. at the end uh, the lock will. will be stopped. Oh, save brew, yes. And we can it. save it. Do you yes, like to definitely save it? Definitely, I would want sure, like to save sure. it. <laughs> if, you like, if you like the profile, we can save it and we can do this profile, this profile in the background assemble. So this is the new basket by IMS, the MB Life is called the One. The pack screen. The pack screen, yeah. Yeah, but it's not a shower, it's a... Uh, yeah, I know you put out both the polar yeah, filter. Yeah. Can I see that? And it comes yeah. with a magnet? Yeah. Yeah, I know it's very Without, annoying because uh, burning yourself burning, or knocking yeah. it. And you had to use, I think, some special stainless steel to be magnetic because not yeah. all of them are yeah, magnets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. Nice. Cookies. Which one should I take? Hi there. Uh, so what are they? What's this? Coffee. Okay. Chocolate no, no, chips. Good, yeah. And salted, salted chocolate. Salted and chocolate. Yeah. I'll take this one if it's okay. This one. Yep. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank no, you. Bye.
Yes, um, we will see also the software and the service menu. I mean, you, how many cycles do you have left to replace the burrs? Yeah, yeah. Or the, the on off switch or something like that. Because after a few hundred thousand shots, Just maybe you could replace some mechanical parts or yeah. some things ahead, ahead, ahead of time. Ahead of yeah. time. Yeah. Before they fail. Yeah. I know it's rather limited. Back up. Interesting this DLC coated Porta filter. Looks beautiful. I would definitely prefer DLC coating over like paint as one. Yes. Yeah. It's definitely like way more durable. Yes, yes. And, and it's all it feels safe. kind of full safe, yeah. Yeah it is. I like this it. is titanium coating. These small knobs. Which machine is this? Uh, this is for ECM. 
ACM, like the Synchronica. For example, work, yeah. yeah, it's like the tail lever. Yeah, here you have the maybe this lever. is, yeah, yeah, I don't know. And then it. this is the fitting uh, for the filter handle to this. Well, I like the walnut you are using. But Thank some you. walnuts, like they are not high quality. Yeah, like, like we are producing only can see it. the wood. Yep. So we really have a high focus on a really nice surface that it's nice and touch. This is Linea Mini, for example. Yep, I know. We have it in oak on our Linea. Like we completely customized it. We you have the shot control there. Yeah, right. We put pearl white custom color on it on our open applications, including the shot timer. I like the style of color of it, it's similar to the Slayer one. Yeah, it's similar to Slayer, just a bit bigger. Yeah. So it's slaying better in your hand. And then and we also yeah, have those cup rocks. Yep. I know, this is also a German company. Yes. The Ceramic. Right. Yeah, they make also nice cup. But I like this leather. 50 different models of uh, machines. So it's always exactly cut out as the top layer metal sheet from the machine, so it looks stretching. Puts down the red line from the cups. Top here, you can. This is the Lilith Mora X, right? right? I have one here. Yeah. I've customized mine, but you customize this the front panel, yeah. In the Lilith, it's almost small button you yeah, put yeah, here. Right. Yeah. You're working with adapters, so you can put the same parts to all different panel machines. So we put the same parts on the Lilith as we put on the Rocket Apartamento, ah. as we put on the Lilith, and so on, yeah, right. Yes. We have uh, a Bianca Obsidian version in our okay. shop. It's a Bianca in all black with okay. tail Because those are much more practical. Yeah, yeah Like right. I love just going in. Thankfully it was not on, otherwise water would be everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's happening on other boots. Like, yeah, I, I, I can imagine. <coughs> Wonderful. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Also here, the customization. Yeah, right. And then, what's the other brand is Orista. Okay. Orista is all about the standard accessories. So also the knock drawer the is completely from yeah. us. The tamping station, a funnel, the leveler. I like this style of funds for the Eureka. Yes, right. It's complete stainless steel. We still put there four strong magnets for yep. a perfect hold on your portal filter. And also, for example, with the knock drawer, we oh, had, sure. I would say, kind of a nice idea. Because we said we want to have a wood handle to make it nicer in touch, but still you want to put it to the dishwasher, right? Yes. So you can't do that if there's a wood handle. So what you can do here, you just, you just clip it off, it off yeah, that's put really it to smart. the dishwasher, <laughs> And then you put the Even if not dishwasher, like just give it a wash. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because right, right. I had one and I wanted to give it a wash, I remember. The wood had to go into underwater. Yeah. It's really nice. Wonderful work, guys. Thank you. I'll leave a link for your website. Yeah, yeah. great. Take care. Thank you so much. See you around. Nice to meet you. That's it. And here is Sam Ruth Fire. Thank you, guys. Take care. Thanks. See you around. Bye. -bye. Bye. Leave it open. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
has a small knuckle, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It really helps with the retention, no need. It's almost Turkish coffee. Uh, here we are quite fine. Yeah. Quite fine, oh, we are quite fine at 30. So how that much how much it's accurate. Like you have a wide range. You have the whole on the whole um, How many color? numbers is it? 145 yeah that's huge actually it's not tough like you're standing here like easily and you know for a barista standing on the bar it's easier than doing here like yeah, seeing exactly. it in front of his face here yes if you turn it from here yeah. actually it's better than bending yourself down that's there the idea yes and watching down here yep. what's the index it's uh, like i imagine myself easier. right now i'm standing on the bar it's annoying to stand here whereas here like i have full vision over the adjustment yeah, it makes sense. So this is Senso from the US. Hi okay. there. Hi. We want to fill a bottle yeah. and make a video about it. So yeah, I push yeah. the first button. What should I do next? Yeah, yeah you did it. It's enough. Uh, it's closed by itself. Yes. Perfect. Three apples. Three apples. What do you do with the left, left of the apple? And with the rest part? Well, you can do what you want to. You can do to the animals, you can put on the ground, uh, because it will be separated. Left of the apple. And that's nice. it. Nice. Yeah. Fresh apple juice. Wonderful. We have the solid part, it also liquid, but the liquid part will go here, will be aspired from the, uh, this pump. At the same time, we can clean inside the, the, the centrifuga by putting good water over there. We have high pressure here, there. Water goes from top to clean this part, the piston part, and also inside the centrifuga. If you are not enough uh, happy about that you're you gonna use a gun yourself. every time that you go in the in the machine to riff so this company produces all their machine in sicily italy and they have the this apple they have pills in the bottle they have normal cups the one like i'm drinking they have the one like the orange we tried it seals the top of the orange cup just amazing wonderful idea yeah. delicious Hero grinder. Look at the cables on this one. You turn on the fan, you turn on the grinding, you use grind adjustment mechanism. Manage the, the RPM, RPM, yeah. Yes. And this is the fan, right? Yes. Yeah. So, do you have the birds I can see? Uh, this one. Yeah, this one. They yes. are blind birds. Yes. So diamond like carpet. Th those are Coated. the birds that are in the hero. DLC no holes. They call them blind birds. Yeah. Yeah. All the grinding room is yes, coated. Yes, it's all like DLC this. coated. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got you right now. Interesting. Showing how it starts from one block. Row cut steel. technical coating brilliant this is called opal glide you can see the rainbow on it I see rarely people speaking about it I don't know how it performs this is their commercial grinder this one is very interesting it has like very low retentions 
So the birds that are being used in this one, let me show you. They have the stand here. So these birds are being used in that one. And the hero they are using the blind birds. Those one. I would love to see different review of these birds. Hopefully one day I'll review it. So that's one on around 4,000 euro. This is around like 5,000 euro. They're really expensive, but you can see the build quality, the motor, the design, everything about it. I love what they did here with the stand. Terriat Compact, it's a company from Barcelona. They're really famous with their disc grinder, the PK100. It's a beast. But uh, they have also the auto tamper, other options, grind by weight and everything. They've recently come up with this grinder for home users. It's called the Fino grinder. It's using 63 millimeter burrs, but they are interesting because they are stainless steel burrs. Let me zoom in so that you can see. They are stainless steel burrs. Really interesting ones. Let me get a bigger view for you. The cutting surface from the top is different. And they are stainless steel. They give you definitely better consistency in filtered coffee. So those are the burrs. And this is the grinder. It comes in so many colors, schemes, and different options. They recently added this for single dosing on the top. You open it, man, you feel that it's very well machined. Here it's not stepless, it's a step, but the steps they are very accurate and clicky. Like while rotating them, they are extremely smooth and elegant. This one feels like it's step, stepless, but uh, they're still like production will be ready in one month. They said this is kind of final version prototype. It has a built-in scale, so basically anything you grind, the grinder is showing you how much you are grinding weight in it. This is the dosing cup, premium dosing cup, built-in scale, there's a knocker in here. You can knock the ground coffee or you can take all the grinding shout outside, it's magnetic. But, so this is the grinding shout, it has a built-in scale, you can see the weight here. Like once right now we're gonna tear it, zero, and you turn the grinder here. When you close it, it goes off and just put this on the side. It's very quiet. On top, it has the anti-popcorn disc from opening from both sides. This is the grind adjustment mechanism. It allows you also to align the grind adjustment mechanism based on your preference. Yeah, the Pinot grinder by Compaq. We'll be testing it as soon as it comes out. It comes also in black and so many color options. The PK100, this is their famous bird. It's a blind bird, huge one. They're famous for this bird, the compact. This is the material, low friction steel. Uh, it's up for 9,000 kilograms, it's rated. The Fino, they are stainless steel, tempered steel. 1200 kilogram. This is the laser analysis of their grind setting. And uh, yeah, this is the black version. It used to be without the hopper, the blower, silicone blower, but they added it with the new one. I see this one, it's a dosing pre doser. So basically, for heavy use coffee shop, it saves your coffee dose here. You can see in transparent shout, it's ready for you. You just insert the porta filter, it dips it inside the porta filter, and really grind your dose so it's grinds by time and it's very accurate like for instance if you put it two and a half seconds it's gonna give you 18 grams or 18.1 18.2 and it's really well clocked and you see your cup here is ready and there's a cup now so two doses you can choose one dose or two doses exactly the, the second one and the first one are conditioned to each other it's brilliant and look it's pretty clocked like the coffee is very well distributed. Uh, if you want to clean it, you got a lot of from salt. Yeah, I see. It comes with brush. Nice. There we go. This is Damon. How are you guys? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you very much I for your man. love and support. Yeah, man. I love you. Let's, let's take a photo. Friends in Spain, make sure to check this roastery. It's called La Sherry. Okay. And this is Jean Gianluca from them. From the roastery. Yeah. So make sure to check them. It's a delicious coffee. I'm gonna have one right now.
Special one. Special. Like special. you have the origin of the copy written in the back. Uh, no, it's not written. Mountains and nature, huh? So you have the tasting notes. Yeah, different, yeah, different taste, yeah. different flavor. Different flavor. Taste by the future, Copenhagen. Nice, interesting. April. Very nice. And you, this is their company name. Yeah, I tried. Is this China? China. Ah, yeah, China. nice. Coffee bean from Yunnan. Yeah. Very nice. And they come in these boxes. In Shanghai. Japan. Nice, it's all degradable, I think, packaging. Eco friendly, right? Yeah, yeah, this is also. Ah, this is Japanese, Karasu. Japanese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know this them. Is, yeah, you know. Ah, yeah, I know them. Yeah, we of course. Collaboration with the, the, ah, collaboration with Karasu. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so, like, they make coffee. Yep, yep, I got you. Nice, brilliant. I love the idea. What is the bar? Brilliant. Yeah, very lovely people. So I'm here at this company. How to say the name? Shaoxing Jihui. Actually, yeah. the brand is Jixing. Jixing. Jixing brand. Okay. Nice. I'll show the name. It's from China. They are using this grinder. It's interesting. It's 64 millimeter burrs, flat burrs, brushless motor. You can hear like barely makes any noise. It has an anti-popcorn disc, beans go from the side and uh, yeah, it looks nice, very similar to the F64, but it has adjustments from the side, clicking, easier to adjust for sure, metal dosing cup, and uh, button from the side, uh, silicone blower, yeah, it's an interesting option, nice one. All the sculptures, the 64, 64S, 8, 78, 78S, and those are all the burrs. They came with a new design and burr, this one. It's larger than the Timor X Lite, you can see it here. It has more cutting teeth at the top, and it's sharp. It is stainless steel, right? Yes. Yeah, it is stainless Here it's called Chestnut S3 Manual. It's their new grinder with a upper grind adjustment mechanism it's extremely smooth it's a step but almost feels like stepless with a foldable handle and they have some nice touches let's show you from the top the grind range reference in here you can see the bearings are good quality and as the burrs are larger silicone from the bottom it will grind faster because like the x light was slightly slower so have very high expectations for this we're gonna review it soon, so stay tuned for that. From a company called Mill Lab, Time More is assisting them with designing it. And uh, you can see here like Mill Lab X Time More. One second, if you can see it, yeah. So it's a battery operated grinder. It has the same bird that I've been used here. You can just take it out of the station. You pull it down and it turns on. It grinds espresso, filter, French press, all the grind settings. We will test that. Just put it here. Like you turn it on, grind your coffee, and you take those from the bottom. Nice. I like this oh, premium. Let's hold it on hand. Yeah. Also, stay tuned for that.
coming. Yep, I'm coming. We have all the setup ready. So this machine has pressure control. It's attached to the pressure sensor. You can see here. Normally it has the pressure gauge, but we are using the pressure sensor from Miklos. Yep. So we have it connected to the Bluetooth device right here, and we can watch all the pressure control during the extraction. The extraction of the knob, and while he's continuing to play with the extract, you'll be able to see it. You see the pressure is raising right now. And can we go lower pressure, let's say? Yes, we can, but actually I can't keep it low and I want to shoot high. Okay, let's shoot high. You see the pressure is high on the knob. Yep. It's slowly decreasing the pressure, you can see that on the graph, confirming it from the knob. And yep, right till the end. Let's see, 30 seconds and I will stop. It will stop the extraction. And you can see it stopping. Yep. That's the upcoming Nori device, it's a still prototype. And with the pressure sensor, wonderful. Brilliant. Thank you, Miklos. Thank you. Take care. Varia stand. We reached here, you know Varia Brewing. They have so many interesting items coming up soon. So first and foremost, let me show you. This is we have here the VS3. They have the upgraded dosing funnel right here. So it looks much nicer even in person. And this is the upcoming prototype of the VS6. It's a hybrid either flat birds, blind flat birds, or conical birds. And I have here Ramzi, the founder and CEO of Varia Brewing. Nice How are you, Ramzi? Very well, thank you. So I'm good, I'm good. Can you tell us a bit more about the VS6? Sure, so this is our prosumer commercial entry. It'll be yep. coming uh, sometime early next year. Uh, it runs 58mm uh, flat, all blind, uh, single body burrs, and a 63mm conical. We run a full brushless motor system. Uh, PCB board and variable RPM, that's 800 to RPM 2000. RPM is very nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And again, all single body bursts. That's our one chunk of stainless One piece steel. of metal acts as a big heat sink, um, allows us to remain extremely stable and, and consistent with our machining uh, to 0.015 millimeter on critical parts. So internally in the chamber, it's a similar process to VS3 whereby we we keep stable, we keep really um, level, and there's no Any vertical parallel. or lateral shift. Uh, That's one vibration. So right now moving to the new Evo hand grinder. So it's basically a manual grinder. It can turn on into a hybrid grinder that can use this stock adapter. Order. So underneath it, we wanted to make an extremely precise high-end hand grinder. That's really okay. important as yeah. the foundation of the product. We took a look at the, the way that interactions happen with hand grinders and traditionally the middle band adjustment has been able to move when you're grinding as your hand's touching it. But we decided to move the adjustment to the base. Okay. It also acts as the second interaction point. Canister and the handle are the main two. So to adjust we simply turn the canister and when you're grinding your hand's not going to move the grind. Yeah, that's it's on a full magnet system with a two-way locking system. So one side is a small 
locking uh, mechanism so you don't forget your place so every time you return yeah. it goes back to the same place okay. right in the same place yeah. that's right so we adjust and the whole system adjusts inside and locks when you remove the canister okay. so nothing can change when the canister is off got it. then when we want to motorize we just attach the motor it's anti-clockwise right yeah. that's right so yeah. it's the reverse thread the for reverse thread. Uh, for tightening and and uh, obviously loosenings and clockwise this is the motor Okay. And it's a 7.4 volt uh, battery, so That's it's a nice. it's big 7 power. 7.4 volt. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. effectively, what what we've tried to ensure is that we have enough power and torque. So okay. we can grind for espresso with this hand grinder normally, okay. yeah. but we can also grind for commercial espresso. The yeah. motor can also grind fi that fine. Uh, okay. It's generally very hard to achieve that, but because of our full metal build the stability of the burst set and all of the efficiencies that we gain we're able to maximize the, the essentially the torque efficiency of the motor and it doesn't have to work so hard so we can get that really nice consistent f fine grind size without uh, needing a massive motor yeah that's a big key for us so You'll if you use the, the motor with yeah. espresso it's You'll gonna, it so gonna drain it fast yeah. that makes sense like well, you have it there if you want to do. That's right. Espresso. It's a little helping okay. hand. We like to think of. And you're planning to go black, silver, black, and black, silver, and we have the white. This is the white here. Yeah. Right. And the white is a, a powder finish, like the VS3. Yeah. The silver and the black are both uh, anodized. Anodized aluminum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Regarding the red, it's limited edition, right? Yes. Are you planning, like maybe in the future? Um, it could be. We, we might, we might do a little test run to see how we go. Yeah. yeah. Old Brewer. Yes, this is uh, another release that will be coming uh, later this year, early next year. So a nice modular cold brew system, um, very simple brazoliate glass and quite an easy one. So this is actually a sealed chamber. So we load the coffee into the basket and then we have uh, an intermediary stage okay. so we can fill the coffee and then as you're as you're actually pouring, nothing's going to enter, exit the basket. We connect that to the main funnel. And the coffee's loaded into the glass. Going and then you actually... In there, yeah. That's right. And you can actually fill from the top of the bottle. And there's a guideline inside for yep. 700 ml, which will equate to your, your ratios. Put the cap on, put it in the fridge, super easy. And the beauty of Simple. this is that when after 12 hours of steep time, you can very Just easily open, open it pour a little tester if you yeah. want to leave it to steep longer put the lid back on and put it back in the fridge okay. and I think the glass is very well built because yeah. some of them they had very thin glass yeah. I can see even from the bottom the glass is really yeah, thick. we've gone nice and solid and it's important especially for for a bottle the in the fridge it's yeah. gonna fit in every fridge I see it's a shelf. Very, really thin uh, diameter is especially small. the height for the bottom shelf of a that fridge makes sense door. also yeah if it's so 700 milliliter 700 to the top of the glass here okay. it, you can push it a bit more to 750 if you need. yeah Okay, brilliant. Thank you, Ramzi. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. See Thank you around. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So I presume with every module, okay, you can actually adjust the independently the temperature, texture, quantity. So if you go to texture, you can actually select whether the cold fan needs to be adjusted or the warm. For example, warm, next, and here you have some settings from 1 to 10. I'm here at Ubermail. They have this wonderful machine. It almost brews everything. It has the syrup, the coffee, all types of milk, and you can do whatever you want. So right now we're going to do vanilla, syrup plus espresso. And uh, plus not, does it have espresso by itself? No, it doesn't have espresso by itself. Espresso, Okay, so what? What's this? Like it's That's chocolate. How cold brew? Brew. we can do? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever I want more, I just place my glass under the machine. And press the cold brew button, and it just runs out. So it has all these brewing heads. Let me show how many. Oh, how many brewing heads do you have? Like four. We have seven outlets. Seven outlets. There is the yeah. possibility to either get foamed milk or plant-based milk alternatives, or just dispense liquids in general. So right now we are dispensing or foaming lactose-free milk, whole milk, and oat milk. That's very important. Lactose-free milk. Not many people are doing it. 
exactly. It's very nice. Um, yeah, so, so like right now it's gonna dispense hot milk. I'm gonna do some latte art. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Can I do the art? If you want to. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you the camera. Like Annie says, it's good vanilla sauce. So which for vanilla sauce? Depends on how many pumps you want to have. One pump. Then just press one right. pump. That's it, perfect. And if we want milk, which one you said? This is the whole milk, right? This is the whole milk, exactly. So I'm gonna make what's cappuccino large or yeah. cappuccino small. Let's go cappuccino small. Let's see. Moment of truth. It's really nice and silky. Yeah, it's kind of good. Kind of is one. <laughs> it's really nice. I love the texture. Oh, it looks great. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. You're welcome. So here Let's show them. Stop, oh, it's Uber milk. Remember the name. <laughs> All right, now host is closed. Everyone is out. That's a wrap for this day. Everyone is packing up. Right now it's in the evening, but uh, just inside the middle of the city of Milan, and we passed by Starbucks Reserve. It's a very famous branch. They even don't try Starbucks in the front. They say Reserve Roastery. It's here behind me. You can see it. So I just thought to take you inside with me because it's a really interesting place. Let's go. Hi there. Is it closed? Ah, uh, when do you open? Can't we even take a video? Can't I even take a video? So that we own it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll tell you. Like to your opinion. I love how it's short rotation. It's rotation. Right now, like okay. Perfect. And Smart. this is perfect, not just with uh, the specific capital, but also with the port of Rotary. Yeah. Thank you. And you this is the new Doji uh, Cup. Just explain uh, yeah, the idea of the festival and the competition okay. as well. Like uh, the competition is from SA, it's like the standard one, so we, we're not going to get any more rooms on itself. It's really cute. <laughs> yeah, it's I like the design. Of competition event, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's part of that. Just to have an idea on the, the competitors right, uh, and the, the numbers of uh, yes. uh, uh, people uh, that are going to be there. It's also an occasion to, to be present in New line. Yeah. Eureka accessory collection. Oh, this is the wooden panels from the side of the Eureka. Oh. In a walnut, fully wood. Yep, chunk of walnut wood. Beautiful. Like her. Yeah. Uh, I like that large knob. Yeah. It's a nice touch. We are thinking about uh, matching uh, this knob with uh, the, the dial. With the, the dial, uh, huh? Mignon. To be the same. Yeah, we have something like this. Uh, you can remove this. <laughs> We have our engineer that is really nice. Oh, it's. Ah, yes. Yeah. It came right in point. In that way. Perfect. Magnet. Yep. It's really easy to remove. And we have. Nice. The other one version has to be placed. So here you can set the temperature, you can set the weekly program. Okay. I like the knob. This is a nice new hopper. This is the best for you. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. How are you, nice to meet you, Luca. Are you doing well? Yeah. And yeah. go. It's really fast. That's it? Yes. And uh, this is the grinding chamber. Okay. No way. Okay, got it. We want to view the better results. Yeah, so dark rose On here. the other side, what is the effect? Yes. This is one is not the lowest Ah, oh, the lowest okay. rose. What do you mean by lowest? Uh, the, the fact that uh, the grinding speed uh, is one. Oh, yeah, the lowest grinding speed. This is what happened usually, like when you go very consistent, you get lower grinding speed, yeah. But yeah, what you need. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Three doughs. We are putting it. I recognize that's third port of total. Uh, just because. Uh, yeah, ah, oh, yep, I got it. Okay. So, right now, if we put the second, second dose basket. Automatically recognize that this is the second one. If you put the single dose basket, also by itself, it will be recognized. It. Nice. Yes. And also, it's the maintains it's very easy because uh, with uh, okay. just two screw, yes. you, you are able open. to leave it up, and the uh, other part is magnetic. Yes, it all goes off. I like, but my extraction time, let's say, it's 30. And I want it to be faster, so I have to go coarser right now. So let's say extraction time 31, and target time is to be 25. I need to go coarser right now. Uh, no. no, because this is one uh, yes. uh, physical. Yes. Okay, it's just an indication. On the, on the Prometheus you can do that. Yes. Go closer, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Uh, I met 
everything no else. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> like a kid touching everything. The hopper. Nice. I love seeing grinders from the inside. So I'm here at Cafe Lair. I have Alan, the CEO, and Jurek, the man behind the tool. <laughs> so this is the home version, this is the commercial version, right? This is the commercial one, or that is the commercial one? This is the pro version. Yeah, the pro version. All right, let's go. So as you can see here, the shower screen's all messed up and dirty. Let's see. Yep. Just turn it on. It will automatically turn on and brush the shower screen. Do a cycle of 10 seconds. Exactly. And... Uh, yep. Okay. Perfect. Wonderful. And they also have this white version for home users or for smaller coffee shops. Um, also makes sense. And uh, we said the battery is enough for how long? Uh, for approximately 100 to 150 degrees up. Wonderful. And the brush? And the brush for 150 to 180. Oh, I see. Okay. Thank you, Alan. It's All a right. pleasure. Perfect. Take care. See you around. We have their new espresso machine, it's boilerless, instant heating and the interesting stuff they will be able to brew espresso at cold water and hot water and those are all the steam ones, here you get hot water so basically it's very energy efficient, you don't have to keep heating the water inside of it for coffee shops with high electricity bills and I have here York with me again Hi guys Hi yeah, York <laughs> So it's gonna, we right now we're gonna brew cold espresso which is really interesting Exactly. Yeah, let's do that. So the heating time like it takes two seconds to heat up, right? Um, yeah, it's a few seconds to heat up. Um, but actually, in the final version, actually, you press okay. the button and it's working immediately. Instantly. So this kind of prototype? It yeah. is a prototype. It's a prototype. Ah, it is a prototype, yeah. Actually, we, 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 we show that here. We gain feedback from everybody in the market. Then we go back home. We do our homework. The final touches, things, yeah. And then we go into And you can see here from open. Would you consider kind of shortening the length so people can really see what's happening here from the other side? Um, the design, design is right now is a little bit deeper as we would use actually. But the problem is the okay. prototype. No yes. cable has the right thing. So inside we needed more space right now for a prototype. But so it will be definitely... Espresso. Yes. Nice extraction. Yeah, it is. You can see creamy. And because under high pressure, it's 9 bar pressure, right? Yeah. But you know, I would like some screen to see what's happening here. No, we don't need the screen because we have a tablet actually. Ah, yeah, that's right. You can put the tablet on the top of it. You want to have machines actually to work. You don't want people yes. to, to, to play around. You want to have just some, consistent so working. So this is cold espresso. Yeah, man. That's really interesting. Let me give it a try to the camera. Once again, it's me and York. Cheers. There we go. Mm. How do you like it? It's really nice. It's not super cold. It's like kind of warm, room temperature water. But it's really nice. But the question is, why I do you love really it. need it? Mm. Because people will be interested in trying it, like, you know? But just imagine you have an Americano. You want okay. to preserve a cold Americano. 
or you want to have something ice related. Oh, yeah, right now the, this makes sense. No need to put hot. I mean, uh, the question is, why do we heat something up to cool it down? Cool the it energy down. we are using again, and in this case with the cold shot, we use this energy, of course. But I'm surprised of the tasting wise. It's really tasty. Like, I wouldn't imagine kind of cold water giving this extraction. More space, because I always liked mod bar, you know, mod bar? It eliminates the thing that behind barista and the people, the customers, they are doing. So the, the customers being able to see everything. Hello. Like kind of if it's faster, yep. <laughs> but of course, it's we, will have it, we will have it shorter. It will be shorter, but prototypes are prototype. Yeah, it's wonderful. Thank you, York. Thank Take you. care. See you around. So I have one final stop to make. Here we go. I look out across the water I smell the song I feel the breeze But in my heart I hear the call Of my old home, Tennessee For me to come here, it's already closed right now. It's too late. So here you have a view of all the Starbucks. It's a huge. That's the roasting machine. It is right there. And there are so many places to take coffee. There's there. There's also that corner and behind this. This is the packaging area. And here they have like the bar area and uh, probably the best view here to have a full view of the area but right now they closed it and they made an exception for me to come here thank you so much i love the wooden chairs love this marble very 
very beautiful. this far thank you so much I know the video was slightly long but basically two years ago due to some circumstances there was no way I would be able to attend the previous host Milano and at that time I was very curious and finding someone documenting the host showing the interesting stuff the new things and coffee grinders coffee machines just to get the real experience how does it feel to go to host Milano and at that time I promised myself two things the first one I'll do my best to attend 2023 host Milano the second thing is that if I did that I'll never take it for granted and I'll do my best to share all the experience with all of you in details to the point like it's not boring but I want to genuinely give you the feel like if you enter the host Milan if you walked around how does it feel to interact with people seeing new stuff so um, long story short I'm really grateful for the opportunity that I was able to go there and I'm very pleased I'm sharing this video with you I hope you have enjoyed it I know the audio was not perfect but as they say lesson learned the hard way hopefully in the future it will be much better in any future vlogs and uh, yeah truly thank you and the best is yet to come take care I'll see you very soon in the next video bye Rico